This is Scott with TutorialStop.com. It's been a while since I've posted a tutorial, so I need to get going here. What we're going to do is take a look at the Magic Wand tool. Here's the Magic Wand tool over here in your tools pot. We're going to look at some of the settings for this. First thing, I'm going to go up and activate the Magic Wand by clicking on it in the tools pot. I'm going to come up to the top and check contiguous. I'm going to do that because I just want to show you what that does. And I'm going to take the tolerance down to 10. That's all up here in the options panel for the magic wand tool. I'm going to come down here and click inside this area. I want to select the blue sky. So I'm going to click inside the blue sky and you'll see that it made a selection. What it does is where I clicked it actually samples that pixel and takes 10 shades of blue above that and 10 shades of blue below that and samples that and that's where it gets that tolerance of 10. So let's go ahead and change that tolerance to say 30 and see what happens. So if I come up here and click, you can see how it takes much more, it's, the, the selection is greater because it's selecting 30 shades above, 30 shades below. So that works great. Now if I take it up to 50 and click, of course it got that whole region. So what does contiguous do? Well notice that it gets all the blue pixels touching each other. That's what contiguous does. If I uncheck contiguous, I come down here and click. Notice now it selects all the blue pixels that are in the picture. So if I click contiguous, it only takes blue pixels that are touching each other. If I uncheck contiguous, it samples blue pixels throughout the whole picture. So now what I want to do, you'll notice that my selection is pretty good. I've selected most of the sky, but I'm missing a little bit here. So I'm going to hold down my shift key. Holding down your shift key, you'll see a little plus sign appear next to the magic wand tool. And I'll simply click right in that region. Now I have most of the blue sky. In fact, I think I have all the blue sky selected. And this works real good. The magic wand works real good with images that have a lot of the same color in it. So if there was a bunch of clouds inside this picture, it probably wouldn't work too good because those shades of gray and white, different shades of blue. But because this is mostly blue, and although there's variations of blue in here from lighter blue to darker blue, that's okay because I can adjust my tolerance. And there's not a lot of blue within inside the Christmas tree, so it's able to select the sky pretty easy. So let's see what we can do with this. I'm going to go over to my layers palette and I'm going to create a new layer. I want to create a new layer because we're going to render some clouds and I don't want to ruin my original image. I'm going to come down here to my forward, my um, foreground and background color and just select a, a nice blue shade. There we go. And I'll keep the other one white. I'm going to go up to the top and choose filter, render, <clears throat> clouds. As soon as I do that, you can see it rendered some clouds. What's kind of neat about this is the filter render clouds just randomly create some clouds. And if you're not happy with that cloud pattern, hold down your control key, your command key on the Mac, and just hit F. And each time you do that, it re-renders and randomly just re-renders some clouds. So that's control F or command F if you're on the Mac. Notice I get a new cloud pattern each time I hit control F. And that simply goes up and does, it just takes the last um, filter that you applied and reapplies it. Okay, so that's a pretty good tip. I'm going to do control D or command D on a Mac to deselect. And you can see now I have my cloud layer and my background layer. And if I want to see what it looks like without the clouds, I can simply turn it on and off. So that's using the magic wand tool and rendering out some clouds. Hope you learned something from that tutorial. This is Scott with TutorialStop.com.